again. I'm just getting ready to make my smoothie for dinner and um, I thought, hey, I'm going to film this and show you guys how I make mine and what I put in mine um, that might be different from what you guys are doing. This is like my go-to smoothie that I make every night and um, I really love the taste of it. It's, it's really delicious. So I'm going to show you what I'm putting in here, okay? So first off, um, I use these greens, all right? And so what these are are um, a combination of um, baby kale, baby spinach, and other baby greens, okay? So I open this guy up, and I put my all my vegetables in at the bottom closest to the blade. So I just, you know, I have a normal blender. I don't have anything fancy, just a normal blender. Um, but I find that when I make it this way where I put all the veggies at the bottom, um, it just blends them up a whole lot better than if they're at the top. Um, I'm just gonna take, I'm taking, and I put a lot of greens in my stuff. I don't, I've seen some videos where um, some folks only put like one little small handful of greens and the rest is all fruit. Mommy, I put a lot of greens in my smoothie. So as you can see, it's a lot of greens in there. The next, um, I put asparagus in my smoothie. And um, I usually put the um, thin green ones in, and I usually do like three little stalks of those. But um, I found this really cool purple looking broccoli, um, asparagus. And you know what they say with colors of vegetables, if more color, the more nutrients it has in it and more vitamins. So I'm using two of these guys, okay? And what I do is I just break them into little pieces and toss them in my blender. Tossing them in. Break, break, break. Put them in. The next thing, the last um, green that I use um, is broccoli. Good old broccoli. So what I do is I take a couple of these guys, right? Maybe three. Now you're probably going, broccoli? Gross. But honest to God, I swear you don't taste this at all. So I get the little head, see this? I just rip this off and this is what I put in the blender. And the rest I chop up with my dog's dog food and they get the rest and they love it. My dogs love vegetables. They love carrots, they love broccoli. It's crazy. So here's another big piece. Just doing the same thing. Just taking off the heads, throw the heads in there. Okay, got the stock. The stock can go to something else. I'm gonna throw another little piece in there just because I love it so much. So there it is, all right? There is all that broccoli on top of all the greens. So see that? There's a lot of greens in there. That's a lot of good stuff in there. And that is what my body is loving, 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 and that is what is helping me get rid of the inches and the fat. It's gonna make me live a whole lot longer so I can see my grandson's kids. That's my goal. All right, next I'm gonna put in my vegetable, or excuse me, my fruits. So I get all my fruits frozen because that way I don't have to put ice because I do pack a lot of stuff in here. And so in order to cram it with everything I want, I have eliminated the ice by putting in the frozen fruit. And it really makes a big difference. So um, this is frozen pineapple, frozen peaches. Okay, and I separate the uh, fruits out so I don't put them in, in a big clump because that strains the uh, blender. So I'm also going to add <clears throat> frozen mango. And again, same thing. Break it all up into uh, the little pieces here so that it blends a whole lot better. And last but not least, my staple frozen blueberries. And I love these guys. And all these... Um, Packages that I showed you, with the exception of the pineapple, are all organic. Um, so if you can buy organic, it's just healthier. It's got less pesticides in it. You know, if you can, great. If you can't, it's okay. Um, but if you can, you know, it's worth the, the um, thing. So let me show you what my blender is looking like right now. Okay, it is pretty packed, as you can see. So I'm pushing it down as much as I can. And then now I'm going to add some liquids to make all this blend up, right? So the first thing I do is I put in coconut water, okay? And I put coconut water in um, about halfway up the blender. So I'm just pouring it in on top of everything, and I'm just watching it go up um, as I do. And it goes about a 
little bit less than halfway up the container, so I put it in. Okay, um, then I add almond milk, and this is vanilla almond milk, and this gives it a really creamy, nice um, smoothness to the smoothie. So I add maybe, I don't know, maybe a third of a cup um, of almond milk, okay? It looks like more because all the veggies are, are crammed in there, but here, let me show you what it's all looking like. Okay, so that's what it's basically looking like, right? Not real appetizing at this stage, but I promise you it's going to be awesome. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start blending it, and I have to blend this in um, little stages because, like I said, it's a normal blender. So I listen to the sound of the blender, and when it sounds like it's strained, I turn it off and I stir it with a knife and then move stuff around and then start blending again. So bear with me, it's going to be noisy, but... You gotta do it, right? Okay, so here we go. I pour this in. You can see the consistency. It is delicious. Okay, and then I use a little straw. Um, because honestly, it's kind of like drinking a milkshake in a way. So here it is. Oh my god, this is so good. You don't taste the broccoli. You taste the blueberries, you taste the pineapple, you taste the peaches. Put the fruits you like the best, okay? Whatever, you know, is your favorite stuff, whatever trips your trigger, you put those fruits in with the greens and um, the liquids. And you don't have to use coconut water. Some people don't like coconut water. Just use straight up water. If you don't want to use the almond milk, don't. You can just, just use straight water. You can use a little bit of fruit juice if you like fruit juice better. You know, whatever you need to do to get you into this habit, do it. Um, because you're going to see a difference. You're going to see a boost in your energy. You're going to start seeing your weight come down from this. Not only that, you are giving yourself fruits and vegetables that your body needs every day. If you do this every day, you're giving yourself everything you need for that day. So there's just nothing bad about making a fruit and veggie smoothie, folks, okay? So please give it a try. I think you're really going to like it. I know I do. I love these things, and I have one for dinner pretty much every night unless I'm going out. So enjoy, my lovelies. Have a great weekend. I'll see you soon, okay? Bye.